Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new. My name is Lizzie and I'm a pet family and wildlife portrait artist based in Worcester and I specialise in coloured pencils, coloured pencils. So if that's something you're interested in, definitely feel free to subscribe to my channel and thank you for joining me on today's video. I did in fact forget to intro the video so I'm coming from the future. So without further ado, Let's jump straight into the studio vlog. So today's Monday, happy Monday. And I just had to go run some errands and now I'm having some breakfast. It's just porridge when I do this. Oh, Mitzi's come say hello. Mitzi Mimu. Mitzi's made an appearance. She sees the porridge, she wants my porridge. Yeah, once I finish my breakfast, I'm gonna start on a commission. Oh, diddums. This is the reference photo that I'm going to be using for the commission. There's some editing that I do need to do to this photo. There's <laughs> lots of green slime on the mouth. Um, see if I can figure out something with the ears and just increase the overall sharpness. But that's not going to be a problem. I quite enjoy that process anyway. This commission is actually going to be gifted to the headmistress at my old primary school. I never had her as my headmistress, but I worked alongside her when I did some work experience there way back in high school. Um, so one of the staff members reached out to me and thought it'd be a lovely idea if an ex-pupil did a gift for her for when she leaves. So yeah, I'm really excited about this commission. Um, it's actually the second time I've done a piece of artwork for one of the teachers. So it's a lovely tie back to my old primary school. Not only that, but this is actually my first coloured pencil horse commission. So I have drawn a horse before. It was way back in 2018. Um, I also didn't do it in coloured pencils. I did it in pit pastels. So kind of a different material to be using. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited about this. I'm going to start on actually filling in the portrait now. I've just picked out all of my colours. I've got 33 in total. I'm probably going to end up using a lot more. So yeah, let's get started. Finished for the day. I'm enjoying the process. It's just taking a little longer than usual. You can see here how I've put in some of the blues and purples and there's green peeking up over here. But yeah, I'm really happy with how this is turning out. Change of scenery for today. Um, I'm dog sitting. I walk a little pastel terrier called Pepper. She's an absolute sweetheart. Her mum has gone to go see Harry Styles, so I'm looking after her for today and tonight. Tempting her over with a little treat so you can see her. Do you want to say hello? There we go. Is that yummy? Is that yummy? So this is Pepper. I'm going to do a little bit of work, aren't I? And then we can go for a walk. Oh, you heard that, didn't you? Thank you for the kisses. Thank you for the kisses. I've had to pack my studio essentials and bring them here with me. Um, I'm working on a tray. <laughs> the table that I'm working on has got like that soft protective layer and my wooden board was too big to carry. So I'm working on a, on a TV dinner tray. I've packed the artwork up here. And I've also got all my pencils and stuff in my overnight bag. I did stupidly um, forget my tripod. So unfortunately this is um, the angle 
that we're going to have to work with. I do like to watch um, commentary videos and stuff on YouTube. Something that I don't have to look at. Crack on with work um, and then just show you a little progress shot later on. It is taking a little bit to try and get the colours correct. But, uh, oh, I think that's Peppa running around. I think she might have zoomies. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm always up for the challenge, I'm trying to get the right colours and stuff. I feel like I've recently been on a roll though with um, black and white animals. So I've recently just done uh, the wolf dog commission. Those were two black wolf dogs and then a white wolf dog. So I'm sort of like, in my element here, capturing dark coloured animals, which is actually a nice change because I feel like not so long ago I was saying like, I literally never draw black animals. It's always like browns and tans and creams and then I just get bombarded with a load of dark animals. So the universe has given me what I want, so that's good. I might have to stop depending on how well the lighting is in here. Um, so yeah. Do we have a little admirer? Hi, baby girl. It's very warm in the studio today. Um, I've got the fan on and I've had to just close my doors and windows because I don't want my neighbours hearing me talk to myself. So I got back from Peppers. We had a lovely little walk this morning and now I'm gonna crack on with Duke. That's his name, they finally got back to me. I wanna get a big chunk of him done today, but I also think I might swap up and change what's on the drawing board and work on my original piece as well, just to do something different, work on something different. So yeah, wish me luck. I think the most difficult part is out of the way. Everything else should be relatively easy. Fingers crossed anyway. So this is the original that I'm working on in between commissions. I saw this photo and immediately had to draw it because I think it's so cute that the dog is wearing wellies and a raincoat like its owner. The pencils I use in the fur are the same pencils that I use in Duke's fur as well. Um, so here's progress on Duke. Really pleased with how he's looking so far. So yeah, today's been actually pretty productive. Good morning everyone. Um, so last night my drawing board broke. The screw is on the floor somewhere. Um, yeah, it's annoying. It's very annoying. So I need to fix that today. But I'm off to walk Pepper. I feel like I've seen Pepper so much this week already.
you doing? A water pipe burst on the main road by me and it's caused absolute havoc. There's a massive hole in the road now. Workers have been working on it literally since Wednesday when it happened. And then we've had water delivery, like bottles of water in case our water runs out again. There's nothing really like that has ever happened around here. And then suddenly you don't have running water and you're like, oh God, <laughs> what do I do now? It's just all been a bit weird. It's finally the weekend. Happy Saturday, everyone. It's another scorcher. It's really humid today. I reckon there's gonna be a thunderstorm very soon. Praying that it doesn't get so humid. Um, it's kind of getting unbearable in the studio, to be honest. I really didn't do too much yesterday because it was just too warm in here. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna crack on. I've got to a really good part of the portrait, so I'll get on with that now and show you all. So I've reached the point of the portrait where I can put in Duke's whiskers. We've got all of these whiskers to pop on his chin. And for that, I use my slice tool. I've got two that I can use. I'm probably gonna use this one, just cause it will do a bit of a thicker line and I can always go back in and make it a bit thinner. Oh God, I love it. <laughs> So satisfying. Literally just putting in a load of what I can see, trying to um, vary the lines as well so they're not all going in the same direction, so I'll make it look a bit more realistic and I'll go back in as well and I can highlight some areas as well. So because I've laid up so much coloured pencil as well, it's making this process super easy. So if I hadn't have done all of those layers underneath, um, this would be incredibly difficult. Just brush all of that pencil dust away. Look at that, there we go. I'm not liking this bit here, so just touch up there. And blend some of it out. There's one here that like flicks up. Mm, I don't know if I like that one actually. Get rid of that one. Oh yeah, that's much better. I love using this black. This is the Derwent Drawing Ivory Black. And it is, it like has no shine to it at all. It's what I've used here. So it gets like a super, super deep black and it's amazing. Love using this one. so creamy as well and it just oh it just blends so nicely I'll just soften up these edges here this pencil I like to use for highlights particularly going over whiskers I've got a longer version of it there there we go Karen Dash Museum Aquarelle well, basically it's watercolour and this is pretty good at really highlighting certain areas that I want to be particularly highlighted. 
again because it's really creamy it just glides on so nicely so I'll just go over the ones that are that would be right on the top and there you are I think that is done there we go managed to fill in everything so I'm really really pleased with how he's looking I've just got the halter to do now um, but I'm really happy with the ears so I've just finished them considering that that's what I'm working with so yeah I think I've done a pretty good job on that I've just got to go scan him in now <laughs> oh god <laughs> um, looks good though It's Sunday, so I'm halfway through his halter at the moment, and I've decided to use cool, cold grey colours. So this is what I'm working with. Um, yeah, I'm liking the contrast of the cold grey against the warmness of his fur. His hair, I did it again. <laughs> this is him now, and this is him finished. like I've had quite a productive busy week and I really love how Duke turned out as well. I've got him on the table now, I just need to pick out a frame, mount him and then send him off and I'm delivering it in person. So that's going to be really exciting as well. Thank you for joining me on this week's studio vlog. I had a lot of fun filming it. Definitely will be doing more in the future because it actually makes me more productive so there's actual content for a video um so i don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing but regardless if you did enjoy the video definitely hit like and subscribe to my channel down below i'm very close to 500 now and yeah i think i've said everything i need to say um, and i'll hopefully catch you all in the next one bye for now <laughs>